Great seeing you today. Okay, this is the last day. I'm not going to beat this subject up anymore, but we're talking about taking care of our bodies and honoring, glorifying God with our bodies. Okay, it doesn't matter how slowly you go so long as you do not stop. Now, I mean that. Let's just say you read a chapter of the Bible every day. You say, well, boy, that's not much. But let's say you do it a whole lifetime. That's a lot of Bible. Let's say you memorize a verse of Scripture one a month. Well, that's a lot of Scriptures after 30 years. I mean, as long as you keep on moving. Learn the power of small steps. Now, you say, what's this have to do physically? It has a lot. Now, I I shared in the service that uh, I I haven't eaten, like, meals in six years because of a major problem with my stomach. So I had to keep giving up foods, actually, before that time. And it's amazing what you could do when you take small steps and say, well, I'm not going to eat this. I'm not going to eat fried food anymore. I'm not going to eat any kind of food that's cooked in oil, you know, like deep fried. I'm not going to eat uh, desserts except a few desserts. You see, one of the problems we have, we have too much of a variety of things out there in which we could eat, we need to narrow that down. That that would truly help you. But take it in small steps. 2 Timothy 2.5. Now, notice how Paul puts this. An athlete is not crowned unless he competes according to the rules. (laughs) I love that. You don't win unless you follow the rules, right? Okay, so here's the rules. It's real easy. You don't need that fad diet. You don't need to go on that crazy diet, you might lose the weight. Remember, 95% of all people are going to gain back the weight. Skip the diet. Go to a healthy lifestyle, healthy eating, total healthy eating within portions. There are no half-hearted champions. So what I like here is this. Paul puts together here about getting to where God wants you to be And he talks about athletes, and he talks about the race, and he talks about running. I believe as believers that we should be on the move, and I mean it. God made us so that we could work, going back to the biblical days, 12-hour days. I mean, man works very, very, very hard. Now, of course, I, I wouldn't recommend that, but I, it is not good for people who are sitting around all the time, not having a lot to do. You want to be on the move. You want to be like an athlete. Look at 2 Timothy 4, 7. Paul says, I like this. So here he is. He's older. He's been through so much. He says, I have fought the good fight. I finished the race. I have kept the faith. Let me tell you what I see in there. Most Christians don't stay in the race until the end of life. They end the race 10 years before, 20 years before. Some never started the race. Listen, you ready to get in the race? I like this. Listen, stop living for time and start living for eternity. Don't just live for today. So this is what I want to leave you with is this. I want you to think everything you do in long-term goals that you can see the end at the beginning. Every single thing you do, you do it with the future in your mind. Okay, now take that to physical activity. Don't take the elevator, take the stairs. Park the car at the cheaper lot downtown so you have to walk five blocks to get to the job. I mean, do everything you do, like keep yourself on the move. You can go for two walks a day. I mean, I encourage exercise, but I want you to move at whatever level that you feel led. Okay, but we're on the move. We're we're, we're working towards a goal. We want to honor God. We want to finish out life being the best version of ourselves, no matter how crippled up we are, of physical problems in which we had. This is all possible in Jesus' name. So I'm praying that we see a lot of people helping, starting getting their health on track.